Hey guys, Taylor Eldridge here with the Wichita Eagle and Kansas.com. I'm down here in Tampa, Florida, where Wichita State just snapped its two-game losing streak. 56-43 win at South Florida. This was the site where WSU had its one of its all-time worst games last season. 41 points, real ugly loss, and for six minutes to start this game, it looked like it might be a repeat performance. WSU 0 for 7, empty on the first nine possessions but the Shockers, they do enough to get the offense turned around. It wasn't the prettiest game, but, but man, the defense and the rebounding really came through for the Shockers tonight. And, you know, that's the formula that this team has used since the 14-4 close to last season and, and the 15-1 and start to this season. That's, that's what gets the job done for this WSU team. You know, they don't have to shoot lights out when they play defense and rebound like they did tonight. The Shockers actually win the rebounding battle for the first time in conference play and then the defensive numbers were just lights out. They, they hold South Florida to 30% shooting, 43 points, which is, which is the fewest they've held since 2016, and then 12 made field goals. That's pretty incredible. 40 minutes to only give up 12 baskets. That's also the fewest since 2016 for WSU. So that was the Shockers last year, and this year they were able to flip the script here at South Florida. And uh, on offense, it wasn't the prettiest of games, but they got enough production from outside the arc from Tyson Etienne and Dexter Dennis. Etienne with a team high 13 points, while Dexter has four, th four triples, the most he's had since the season opener. So uh, WSU's offense, I thought they took a step in the right direction tonight. They had a nice 10-0 run over seven minutes in the second half. USF had to cut the lead down to one point. Game was in question, and WSU's defense comes up with 10 straight defensive stops, holds South Florida scoreless for seven minutes, and that's really what got the job done tonight. So WSU, they improved to 16-3, and 4-2 and in conference, and they will return home to face Central Florida on Saturday. But in the meantime, be sure to check out all my coverage on Kansas.com.